In this video, we're staying at the Flamingo Las Vegas in 2023, next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, it's been a couple of years since I've stayed at the Flamingo, and I wanted to show you what it's like staying at the Flamingo Las Vegas in 2023 and beyond. And I'm gonna show you a couple of restaurants, what shows they have to offer, their gym, and give you a nice room tour, and tell you how much I paid for staying here during F1 week 2023. So let's start off showing you around the resort and what is new from the last video that I showed you two years ago. Watch that after this if you want to see that one as well. But I got a different room this time around, so let's check it out. This side entrance from the link is always a great picture up. The Flamingo Las Vegas and neon lights. Love it. So this store here is new. It's called Go Sports, and they offer like messy jerseys right there. They got the black ones, official messy jerseys, and F1 stuff. Look at this. That's a pretty cool warm up right there. But the thing is, I don't know if they're real or not, so I wouldn't take the chance. I just go down the street to Adidas and try to get it from the official Adidas store they also got restrooms here in the side by the link promenade as well as the splash fresco bar I don't believe this was here last time they got tons of different drinks horchata blueberry mojitos and a lot of cocktails you can get you can get a flamingo yardstick too look at that this store is called essentials to go a little more pricey I'd rather go to Walgreens or CVS but they do have flamingo gear here tank tops you know that pinkish feel that you like and they even have some flamingo silverware and cups I've shown this in many videos before but they do have flamingos at the flamingo here in the corner in front of the pool so if you want to check out the flamingos they're over here in the habitat up right there is the tower that I'm staying at and we're overlooking this way so one of those windows are my room the wildlife habitat hours are 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily so they're building a new restaurant Havana 1957 Cuban cuisine over on this way but it's right across from Bugsy Myers this is the place I've been wanting to stay at for the longest time Bugsy and Myers Steakhouse pretty cool bar entrance is over here somewhere and this is Bugsy and Myers by the lobby is Carlos and Charlie's. Me and Jeff ate here for happy hour. Or no, just had drinks here for happy hour in the last video two years ago. So we won't go here this time around. We're gonna try something else. One of the highest rated burlesque shows in all of Vegas is X Burlesque. This is the entryway to it. Beautiful ladies. Looks like there's a secret speakeasy here called the Count Room at Flamingo through this pretty interesting looking door. This food hall sign wasn't here last time. Nice and bright. And then you got Auntie Annie's, Johnny Rockets, Wing Zone, and some TVs over here. It's actually a pretty nice food hall. Oh, and they got a Nathan's Famous in the back. Oh, they've changed up since I last been here. And they also have Pizza by the Slice, Bonanos, New York Pizza. You see that in a lot of Caesars properties. And Wing Zone. This is the Flamingo Showroom, and they do have RuPaul's Drag Race which is very popular here. Piff the Magic Dragon, he's pretty funny. So if you ever wanna go see them, this is the entrance. And if you wanna see the classic Wayne Newton up close and personal, he performs here. Mr. Donka Shane, baby Donka Shane. Here's a little footage from j and Stay in Vegas. Shout out to Jeff and Christina from when they went to the show. Over by the Las Vegas Boulevard exit, they have a wine and spirits store, but it's pretty pricey. Right here in the casino area, they have Bugsy's Bar around the slot machines and tables. So the Purple Zebra Daiquiri Bar is right here in the corner. You don't really notice it because it's just right across the street from the Cromwell and the entrance of the Flamingo, but you can grab a drink here. There's also a Purple Zebra Daiquiri Bar right across this bridge at Caesars Palace. I was hoping that Wayne Newton would open the Super Bowl this year or sing the national anthem. Let's see if he will, but I know. No, I don't think so. All right, JK Shooters, if you're liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. We're over 100K subscribers. On to the next level, baby. Let's get back to the Flamingo Las Vegas. And out in the front on Las Vegas Boulevard of uh, the Flamingo, you got a Donnie and Marie Osmond star right here, as well as Chester Mims, Pioneer Casino Management Flamingo Hotel. 
And then you got the classic Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, the Rat Pack members here as well. Check this out, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. And look at how many people are checking in, the check-in line right here. Let me show you how I skip this whole line. Right by check-in is the Diamond Rewards check-in. And I have a Diamond Rewards card. We go right in there, you can check in early as long as you have Diamond. And it opens at 10 o'clock, so just so you know. And they offer free coffee there. They have a Keurig machine. So if you need coffee in the morning and you're a Diamond member, you go in there, just flash your card, and you can get yourself some Keurig coffee. Here's your Marshall Russo store that you see typically in a lot of these hotels on the strip a lot of women's wear here and this is the flamingo promenade and they have a ton of flamingo swag here and even some Disney stuff I saw and it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas here in November they got the Christmas stuff out that is probably the most busty mannequin I've ever seen look at that and these are the spa elevators right here I stayed here last time I'm in a different tower now and this is Piff the magic dragon suit looking for coffee or pastries in the morning they do have a Nook Express here right by the outdoor patio bar area and this right here is the spa at Flamingo, but also the gym is here. We're gonna run in here a little later on and check out their gym. And then they have a RuPaul's workroom where they sell RuPaul souvenirs. For you magnet collectors, they have a Magnet Max here and you also can get your Las Vegas souvenirs. And this right here is the entryway to the Las Vegas monorail. So a couple of things in this trip. The Las Vegas monorail has come in clutch. You literally just walk around this walkway, go up the escalator, and you can go all the way down to MGM Grand or all the way north to the Sahara. It's cheaper if you buy it online, but the monorail, especially during F1, is the best thing you can use here in Vegas to get around. Forget Uber, forget Lyft, all the roads are closed and it's just a major inconvenience so we made sure we got 48 hour passes to the monorail and we used it to our advantage it got me down like I said to where I needed to get to so Las Vegas monorail flamingo stop that's a big big advantage make sure you use that there's nine more years of F1 come in so that week you're gonna want to use that for sure and down here is the uber lift drop-off and then you can also get into the taxi stands right here and I believe this is their pet relief area not to mention the guest parking for the flamingo is right here it's not a really nice parking lot I'll tell you guys that but if you do have diamond you can park here for free so it is November 20 and the go pool very nice pool it reminds me of going to the Copacabana it's closed for the season it's starting to get cold it's in the mid 50s right now down the way is it's called the Beach Club Bar and Grill they do have a small convention center upstairs and their executive offices so they're up this escalator and this is their little race and sports book I might play some Monday night football bet since the Monday today and it's the Eagles versus Chiefs and they do have a Carlos Bake Shop here where you can get all the different cakes. So this is the lobby elevators. This is the tower we're staying at, the lobby tower. So we ended up coming here to the west side of Vegas to this place called Capo's. It's a classic Italian restaurant and bar. Uh, meeting up a few of my friends from San Diego here for dinner and uh, yeah, just get it off the strip for a little bit. Get away from the hustle and bustle of that F1 weekend. So I'm gonna try some Italian food. I might not vlog as much in there, but I'll show you some B-roll. I do like that there's like 12 elevators in this tower. That really makes you be able to go up and down these elevators fast, unlike places like the Harrah's where it takes forever to get in an elevator. Oh, here it is guys, the spa at the Flamingo. You gotta scan your room key here to get inside the fitness center. So you got your towels here. This is like the front desk area. They have some ellipticals, TVs medicine balls and a few machines here and then they have around six or seven treadmills they have a women's spa right here and your water you need some water right here and then the men's spa is right here time to get those free weights in let's do it so the flamingo gym fitness center gets a solid b from me it's definitely better than average and nice and empty they got tvs Monday night football started, but I got a little bit of a pump in. So we're good to go. We're gonna head back up to the room, watch a little bit of Monday night football, then grab some dinner. If you wanna see the spa stuff, here's the QR code. Get yourself a spa booking here by Flamingo. All right guys, so let me tell you about what happened the first two nights here at the Flamingo. I originally had a spa tower room and it was an okay room. I actually like this room better. 
but the problem was in the room, the Wi-Fi didn't work. And it was kind of difficult to get this room changed because it was F1 weekend, but I absolutely need Wi-Fi when I'm here because I gotta work and I do YouTube. So I went down to the VIP desk a couple of times and I explained it to them. At first they gave me a tech support number, talked to the person in tech support, took me about 15 minutes, 20 minutes out of my day. Um, he said, yeah, the Wi-Fi is strong, it's just I think that room that you're in doesn't get a good signal. And I was like, that's unacceptable. So I went downstairs, met some really nice Hawaiian lady that was working the counter and she was nice enough to move me over here and they gave me like 15 minutes to grab my bags and move over to the lobby elevator. And that's actually way better because the internet here is amazing now. Yeah, it fixed the problem and I even have a really nice view of the link and the sphere and you also get a partial view of the American Express track area on Koval. And that was also cool for being in this room. And then you can see the monorail from here as well. Another thing that I just saw was that Gordon Ramsay announced, I saw it on his Instagram, Gordon Ramsay is opening up a restaurant here. That's right, a second location of Gordon Ramsay Burger. Gordon Ramsay Burger is over at Planet Hollywood right now, but pretty soon it'll be here at the Flamingo Las Vegas. All right, vacationers, it is time for that oh-so-fabulous room review. So we're here at the Flamingo, and I actually booked this when the prices dipped for F1, like dipped. Everything was way, way cheap. And since I have Diamond, I have no resort fees, so you waive $45 a day for five days, and that saves so much money. This price for the room was on Friday, Saturday, it was 90 bucks a night, and then on the weekdays, it was like 28 bucks. Way cheaper than people thought hotel rooms were gonna be during the F1 week. And I believe that same time, Harrah's was cheaper than this, and the horseshoe also dipped cheaper than Flamingo. But I haven't been in the Flamingo in two years, and I wanted to show you guys. This room is actually really nice. I've slept nice and comfortably. The air conditioning is cold, and I like the color scheme here with the white and teal and pink tones. The bed was comfortable, and I have a nice workspace here with this leather chair, and there's a drawer here with a white lamp, and then you have two regular outlets here on the top, and then two in the bottom, and you also get your coffee cups that you can use, and I brought my Keurig machine, but I used it in my bathroom. Over here is the closet and it's got a lot of space. You have your iron and ironing board with only five hangers and then the safe is in here but the safe doesn't work so that's a thumbs down on that and the light doesn't work up top here. I don't know, there's no switch so that doesn't work. We did request extra towels and pillows and they brought way too many so I stuffed them up here. There's also a luggage rack for you to use. Entertainment center is nice, LG TV. Not too big but it's perfect. It has ESPN, ESPN2, so we were able to watch the F1 practice round on this TV when Brocation was here earlier on the trip. Nice counter space here with the Las Vegas Magazine. They're promoting the new Peter Luger Steakhouse over at Caesars Palace. I kind of want to try it out one of these days, so maybe on my next trip we'll try it down. Comment down below if you've tried Peter Luger in Brooklyn or here. Just let me know how it is. And then you also have four dresser drawers down here. My favorite centerpiece is the lamp that they have here that's shaped as a flamingo. It has two lights and a teal lamp cover and a flamingo head popping out in the top. I would actually want to have one of these in my room. <laughs> that's a cool design there. And then your telephone and then they Surprisingly enough, these are these are budget cheaper rooms. The sheer and the drape uh, are automatic and they actually work. So that's a thumbs up for this room. And then there's a nice little drawer here for you. And I do like the leather bed stand that they have on both queen beds. Over in this corner, you have your ice bucket and coffee cups, another drawer, and a small white refrigerator, which is perfect because I needed to put my drinks and some of my leftovers in there, so that works out. That's what I like about Caesars Properties, you get this refrigerator. Except for at Harrah's, they didn't have it. So that's a thumbs up for the Flamingo. And then the air conditioner controller is right here as well. And then you get a full length mirror right here. 
which is a good thing. Into the bathroom area we go, and I think back in the early 2000s, they were really trying to make these go rooms look hip, so they have a TV here that no longer works anymore, and the Bose speaker, so you can kind of have like a party atmosphere here, try to make it like a, kind of like the hard rock used to be down the street, but that stuff doesn't work anymore. You have a nice bowl sink, and down below you have your towels, extra toilet paper, and your hair dryer. The hair dryer is kind of like, even on high, it wasn't that strong, probably on its last legs, so that wasn't really that good, but hey, got the quaff going. And you have the tissue paper, and they give you body lotion and some soap, and I put my curing machine here because the outlet's right here, and uh, it just works out that way to have it here in the bathroom. <laughs> Another thing that's weird here is that you guys gotta watch out for the shower. So to turn on the shower, you gotta use this, turn that on, This is and this is the hot and cold lever, but if you turn this on, this is uh, like a spray, and it'll spray straight directly. Bro Cation used it, and he was like, bro, it was, he thought this was gonna be a shower head, but water squirted out of here and went all over the place. So just make sure you know about that. Toilet, nice and low to the ground, but I did not like that the toilet paper holder is loose. You have your towel rack. They do give you tons of towels, so that's cool. And then the vent over here is full of dust. Like you'd think they'd clean that up, but it's all dusty. And you know I don't like showing all the negative stuff, but I'm real, and that's dirty. You also got this uh, sliding door. It's like a white out glass door and it's on this side and on that side. So if you have your lights on in the bathroom, it kind of illuminates at night. So I turn off the lights at night. I like it being dark in here. Check this out. This is the bird bar and they have beer pong tables and the bird bars right here. And right outside is Las Vegas Boulevard. This is where we took brocation for his first 21 and over drink in Las Vegas. First things first. First things first. Your first 21 drink. First 21. Russian, bro. <laughs> this right here is the Margaritaville Smuggler's Hold store and you have a booze in the blender here in the front and they have a ton of gear here in relation to Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Really cool gear. Here's a little map of the Flamingo. Man, that wildlife habitat and the pool area is huge, but this is the main casino. This right here says, you look great. Well, thank you. This is the outside of the bird bar, and we're looking right at Caesar's Palace. All right, it's dinner time, and I want to pay some respects to Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville and actually try their food for the first time. So let's hit it up. I also like how this uh, connects to the flamingo. It's like a little sea cave. And you got your Florida map right here, and it'll take you over to where the retail shop is and more bars. There's a bar right this way, and then there's a nice rooftop too. Uh, here's the uh, menu for Margaritaville. They got starters over here. It's like a Key West Florida themed. So they got jerk chicken because it's near the Caribbean. You got fish and chips and a bunch of burgers as well. Burgers in paradise, but key lime pie, yes please. Got a seat by the bar watching Monday Night Football. Got money on it, we'll see. I went with the over and it's 45 and a half. Got a pina colada. I didn't have my booze in a blender with me, so I just got a regular pina colada. Oh man, reminds me of Key West, Florida. If you guys haven't seen my Key West food video yet, make sure you check it out after this one. So I wanted to get the best of three worlds. Got their appetizer trio. Artichoke dip with corn tortilla chips, chicken tenders with a mustardy sauce, and their tempura rolls with nice special sauce as well. This all looks good. I almost went with the Key West quesadilla, but this was more appetizing to me. I'm loving that artichoke dip. Let's try out their chicken tenders. Oh, nice. Nicely battered. Nice sweet mustard sauce. I dig. Mm. All right, let's try out their tempura. Got that sauce right here. Mm. That's good sauce. Doing great. Yeah, so good. Thanks. Yeah, nice chipotle sauce. Mm. I'm gonna smash this whole appetizer plate. And then we're gonna finish it off with some key lime pie. Mm. 
I have an addiction to key lime pie, and when I was in Key West, I tried so much. We gotta try the uh, Jimmy Buffett one. Loves the crust in the bottom. Got that lime taste to it, creamy and soury. It's good stuff. Get my pick, baby. So I basically ate dinner on the big shipping boat, but you also have the fishing boats right here that you can sit in. And they have a stage and a nice little shrine of Jimmy. And there's a bar in the back as well. Love this place. So all in all, my stay here at the Flamingo was totally fine. Minus the Wi-Fi debacle uh, when I checked in. They were nice enough to finally help me out, but it took like an hour for me to get this new room. And in Vegas, time's a-wasting, right? I do come here a lot, but some people, you know, they're only here like once in a lifetime. And an hour is an hour taken away from your Vegas fun. I'm happy with this room and the view. Right now I'm looking at the emoji sphere. I did enjoy the places we checked out. And Capos, wow. Capos was great. I met my friends up there. It's uh, West Vegas off Sahara. They had a really amazing meatball appetizer. You gotta try their meatball appetizer. I would describe Capos as like a speakeasy slash Rat Pack version of Dick's Last Resort because the waiters kind of just, anything goes there and you could kind of mess around and talk crap with the waiters. So I like Capo's restaurant, but that was all the way down the way. I had a tagliatelle rigatoni for dinner and it was all right, it was good. Uh, I filled up real quick, but the meatballs there are amazing and they do have some really good cocktails and wine choice. And I also like that they had Rat Pack music playing. A guy will come up and sing to the table. So that was a very fun time. Yeah, I do want to tr come back here to the Flamingo and check out Bugsy and Myers one of these days. And Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville is always going to be a classic. And yeah, the food there, the drinks there, the booze in the blender. R.I.P. Jimmy. Flamingo was great. I will definitely come back here. One last thing. There were security checks and they happened like twice during the F1 race weekend. So teams of security guards were going up and down different floors and just like coming in the room with a flashlight and just checking like all the way to the curtain and then leaving and saying thank you. It's kind of weird, but I mean, I'm sure with all the safety precautions they got to take with the race and it being out on the strip and with the history of things that have happened here in Vegas in the past that I'm sure all the hotels were doing it. I'm not sure if it was just a flamingo. Comment down below if you're here for F1 and there were security checks of your rooms just randomly throughout the F1 weekend because it happened to us. Please like this video if you haven't yet and subscribe to Jcation if you're new to the channel and check out Las Vegas 777 Let's Go. It's my Facebook group where we talk about the newest news and happenings around Vegas and there's over 4,000 Las Vegas lovers on there. So check it out and we'll see you in the next one. F1 was a success and in the words of me, stay traveling Las Vegas. Let's go. Boom, boom, baby.